Airbnb apartment in Havana, Cuba, and it is so nice that I thought that I would give you guys a tour of the place. So here we go. This is the entrance of the apartment, and when we come in, there's the kitchen on the left, and a dining room, and a living room, and then a nice little terrace with a uh, balcony, which has a really awesome view. I'm gonna show that to you in a second, but let's go to the kitchen. Kitchen's really cool. I haven't really used it because I've been out most days. I literally leave at like 6.30 in the morning and come back at midnight or one o'clock, so I haven't really used the kitchen much, but I have made tea, so I've made some hot tea, and that's been pretty useful. It's really nice, um, and there's a lot of like plates and forks and stuff to use, so it's good. Here's a living room, and the um, they have a bookcase here, and that's my mom's hat with some books. She just put it there, and it looks nice. I like these little sculptures. They're cool. The Airbnb comes with its own phone, but uh, it only works with local calls, so calls within Havana. Um, but it's still pretty useful if you need to call a restaurant or something for uh, reservations. It's been useful for that. This is a pretty decent sized dining room table. Also have not used that. And very cool bag that we bought here. Isn't that funny? Welcome to the living room. I really like it. It's very minimalistic. I love that little shelf here and all of those little shelves that have the decoration. And we do have a TV. There are not a lot of channel options here in Cuba, but there it is. And we also have a Blu-ray player. I didn't think about bringing any Blu-rays to Cuba, but there it is. Now, this is my favorite part about this apartment because this is an amazing balcony. The view is so, so good. Here, let me show you. Okay, so we come out here and look. Look at this beautiful view over here. Look at that. And that's not all. Let's go over here. Sunset. That is E E A beautiful. I also love these rocking chairs. Back here, I have ended most of my Cuba videos <laughs> sitting here. Yeah, I like it. There's a fan, and it has a remote control. You can turn on the light, and there you go and you have more light in the room. Coming into the apartment, there is a door right here, and that is the bedroom where I am staying. This Airbnb has two bedrooms, and depending on how many people you have, is if they let you unlock both bedrooms. So since it's just the two of us, we just have that one bedroom that has two beds. But it's really, really cool because the bedroom has its own lock. Okay, here we go. We go in here and there's one of the bedrooms and this is our bedroom. And so we come in here and it's pretty simple. There's two beds. That's where I'm sleeping and that's where my mom is sleeping. Her bag is right there. And all of her stuff, my stuff, and a Cuban hat that I bought. Very cool. What is great about this Airbnb is that it has an AC unit, which is very important here in Cuba because it gets extremely, extremely hot. So at night, I am extremely grateful that we have this little air right here to cool us down while we sleep. Here's the window for the bedroom, which I also haven't really opened much since I'm not in here, but here it is. You can sort of get a nice view. It's pretty much the same view from the right of the balcony, um, but very nice. 
if I wanted to, I could open this whole thing, but I'm not going to, so. Here's the closet for our bedroom, and this is important because this closet has its own key as well. So as you can see, it is locked. <laughs> so not only do we have a key for the apartment and then a key to get in our bedroom, but we also have a key to get into our bedroom closet. And inside of this bedroom closet are drawers, and one of the drawers has a key as well. So if we want to put something that really, really, really needs to be safe, it goes in there, and that is extremely useful. Leaving the bedroom, that's my cousin. <laughs> Leaving the bedroom, uh, we go into the bathroom here, and that shower cap was not included, that is ours. And here's the bathroom. And I have one of these uh, wallaby bags from Eagle Creek, and it's very useful as you can see because I have pretty much all of my toiletry. I have underwear, bras back here, I have makeup brushes and makeup stuff here, uh, toothbrushes, brush, um, or comb rather, and um, I have a deodorant down here and my razor and stuff. So all of my stuff goes here and I can just hang it up there. My mom has one too and it's very, very cool. The bathroom is super clean and there is a window right here, but you can't really see in or out, so that's good when you're showering. We do have hot water here at the Airbnb, but we have to turn it on manually. There's a little switch in the kitchen, which I'm gonna go show you right now. Uh, but for the most part, I shower with cold water because it takes a while for the water to heat up even when you turn on the water heater switch. So most times I just don't have enough time to wait, so I just come back to the Airbnb and shower with cold water. So over here, after leaving the kitchen, there is a little wash area here, and right up here is the switch for the hot water. Yes. One of the most important things about this Airbnb and probably the biggest reason why I got this Airbnb is because there's Wi-Fi. Now, what that means is there isn't really Wi-Fi in the apartment, but there's Wi-Fi in this park across the street and it reaches the balcony and you kind of have to like lean against the window and you're able to connect to the internet here in Cuba, which is a rare commodity. Um, but it's really, really funny because down here is the park and you can normally see people, I mean, you already see, like there's a girl over there on her laptop right there. And normally like around uh, 7, 8 p.m. is when people start gathering around this park. And so there's a whole bunch of people just there and you just see like the light from their phones or their laptops or iPads or whatever they have. And that's basically, you just see like a bunch of little lights everywhere all over the park at night. Um, and that's just people who are coming to this Wi-Fi zone and connecting so that they are able to talk to their families or just watch YouTube videos. This was a really, really great find because it's in a very safe and centric neighborhood. So when I go walking downstairs, there are a lot of little shops and restaurants that I can go to if I wanted to and that is really, really cool. That is the end of my Airbnb apartment tour here in Cuba. If you enjoyed it, then please give me a thumbs up to let me know and leave me a comment down below letting me know if you think that I should do more of these Airbnb tours and uh, show you guys where I am staying when I go places. I thought that this one was particularly cool because of the view and the fact that it's so centric and safe and that it has Wi-Fi in a country where it's very difficult to get connected to the internet. And if you just found this video randomly, I am Romina and I make a whole bunch of videos every single week. So please subscribe if you like what you see because there's a whole lot of it to see. So subscribe, it really helps me out. And uh, for now, I am gonna go. So I will see you when I see you. Bye.
This video was made possible by my patrons over at patreon.com slash redromina. If you like what I do, become a patron and be a part of the exploration.